Coming up next, it's two back-to-back episodes of an all-new episode of Turnaround Steering. But only five more episodes remaining until the first season finale. I'm very excited and I can't wait to get to the finale. Join me for two all-new episodes of Turnaround Steering coming up next on YouTube. Why are struggling men can't get the women that they want? Stay tuned for another all-new episode of Turnaround Steering because later on I will give you a theoretical thought based on this particular episode. I told you it's going to be back-to-back episodes, so fellas, y'all know the drill. Grab a snack and come on back because y'all just might learn something. Roll the intro. What is up everybody, it's your boy Mr. Turnaround, aka Tenacious T, and welcome back to another episode of Turnaround Theory on my YouTube channel, where I give you a theoretical thought on just about anything. Listen, if you are new to the channel, I personally want to welcome you, and if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, it would help out with the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to click on that post notification bell because you will instantly be notified every single time your boy posts up and upload more additional content onto the channel. So without further ado, let's jump straight into today's episode of Turnaround Theory. So as I stated earlier in the broadcast, this is a back-to-back -back episode and it's all new on my show called Turnaround Theory exclusively on my YouTube channel. And today we're going to talk about why struggling men can't get the women that they want. Now, I invite you to stay tuned because later on, I will give you a theoretical thought pertaining to this particular episode. So, fellas, why is it that struggling men can't get the women that they want? Well, here to explain all of that is another YouTuber by the name of Apollonia Ponte. She's a dating and life coach and a relationship expert on teaching you men on how to get the girl of your dreams. With that being said, let's hop on over to this video and let's see what she's talking about. What they do wrong when dating women. There's two things that I've just been seeing so much in my membership, in my group coaching, in my private coaching, and I haven't actually done a video about this before. So I really, really encourage you to stick around, especially if you feel like you know you're getting results with women, but it's not sticking. It's not the woman that you really want. It's not like someone that can stimulate you, and it just it becomes a game or it becomes boring for you, right? I think this is so, so important because so many men that are, you know, trying to find their purpose and they see all these successful men and they see these men that are, you know, in the limelight or athletes or whatever the case may be, you know, they think that because they have abundance of women that they're just so happy. And I see this all the time. Just because a man has an abundance of women does not mean that he is happy on the inside, gentlemen. And that's what's so important. And honestly, like, yeah, great. He has an abundance of women, but not every man wants that. Not every man wants to sleep with multiple women either. A lot of men now than ever these days want these better relationships, emotionally successful relationships, want a wife, want to build a home, want to build a family, but also want to find a woman that they can feel secure with and connect with. And so these are the two things that I've noticed that successful men are doing wrong. So if this speaks to you, I definitely want you to comment below and let me know. Gentlemen that are watching, you are supposed to be the chooser, just in general. Yeah, women choose the man that they want to be with. They choose the, the dates that they want to go on or whatever. But the man has the essence to hold attraction and to build that attraction to see if he actually likes the woman. These might get these on my so bad. These watch me from a jail cell, man. Watch me from a jail cell and be on my so bad. Woo! He ends up being the chooser. But what happens with successful men is because sometimes they have abundance of women or they're in the limelight or they are really successful and charming and they can talk to women and they have an easygoing 
charisma about them where they can just meet any woman, talk to them, get their number, and typically women just come to them. Straight facts. If you are a man that is successful and has women, but is not happy with the women that he's getting, I want you to think about this. Number one, do you truly choose the women that you wanna to talk to? I don't know nothing about that. Or are you the guy that's like, oh yeah, she came up to me or she made the first move and she's pretty cute. So let me just see what's going, go with the flow here. Women are very intentional. They're very intuitive as well. And so many times we'll feel an energy of maybe you're trying to do too much and it'll come off in body language and also come off in the things that you say sometimes. And also too, when things just don't work out in relationships, sometimes it has a lot to do with maybe the way you went about attraction, but also some more of the times has a lot to do with that other person and where they are in life. What? Now that was Apollonia Puente telling you why struggling men can't get the women that they want. And shout out to YouTube of Apollonia Puente for this video. I'll post up a link in the description box below for you to watch her channel because she gets some interesting content as well. Don't go away, because when I come right back, I'll give you a theoretical thought to close out this episode right after this. I'm going to give it to y'all real. Ladies, your man ain't leaving you because you overweight. He ain't leaving you because you got stretch marks or you got wrinkles. Your man ain't leaving you because you don't do your hair a certain way. He's not leaving you because your makeup, you're not as natural as you want. Listen, a lot of y'all think that men are leaving y'all for superficial things. Most men are leaving because they don't feel seen or appreciated. You understand what I'm saying? You will be amazed at how many men, all it takes is so little and he'll stay and he will continue. But our women are so hardened because of, of life that they won't even give that man the simple things because they would rather prove that they can stand alone than to be vulnerable and stand with their men. Ladies, I don't want your heart to be too hard when you got to prove to him in the world that you don't need him. And now, turnarounds, theoretical thoughts. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know that time it is. This is my favorite part of the segment and what I call turnarounds, theoretical thought, where I give you a theoretical thought based on today's episode. So here's your theoretical thought for the day. To the struggling men, you can't always get the woman that you want. But it's not always easy trying to find one either. So don't give up on finding the right woman that is going to be right for you and someone that's going to love you for you. Everything ain't always peaches and green. So don't continue to struggle, men. Keep building yourself up. Don't give up. Love is just around the corner, but you got to give it another shot. That's your theoretical thought for the day. I want to thank you for watching this episode of Turnaround Steer exclusively on my YouTube channel. I want to remind you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. It would help out with the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget to click on that post notification bell because you will instantly be notified every single time your boy posts up and upload more additional content onto the channel. Let me know what you think in the comment section below regarding to this episode of Turnaround Theory. Until next time, I'm your boy Mr. Turnaround aka Tenacious T saying, Team Turnaround out. That's all, folks.